Well, new at 5, the Shasta County Sheriff has a plan to reopen the closed jail floor. Action News Now reporter Taylor Helm shows us his suggestions presented to county leaders today. The Shasta County Sheriff's Office continues working towards staffing the jail as well as hiring and retaining deputies. To hire correctional deputies and staff the jail, Sheriff Michael Johnson told supervisors today it will cost about $1.7 million. Back in July of 2022, the sheriff had to shut down a jail floor and its 120 beds because of low staffing. The sheriff says moving forward, his office will add delete nine positions, meaning there won't be any positions added or removed, simply substituted. There will also be five deputy sheriff positions added with a salary and benefits totaling more than a million dollars. There will be a total of 12 positions that need to be filled to reopen the jail floor. Sheriff Johnson says he's started talking to other law enforcement agencies to try and get some help filling positions in the meantime, but that it's important that unions come to the table and are involved during this transition. We and the sheriff's office have even used record staff to go fill in at the jail. But, you know, even a, a records person or a person that's working in some other aspect in another county department may belong to UPAC or another, diff or another union, and it's still going to be a union issue to allow them to, you know, do an emergency lending of bodies. The sheriff emphasizes that this is not an immediate solution and that this will take time. Sheriff Johnson says he's committing to an 18-month timeline to reopen the shutdown floor of the jail. Reporting in Reading, Taylor Helms, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Now the sheriff says the jail floor closure affects not only jail capacity, but also the ability to keep prisoners behind bars.